What's up everyone? Stefan here from projectlifemastery.com. I'm coming to you right now from El Salvador. As you guys can see, there's a beautiful beach right here behind me. And I actually flew in uh, this morning. Uh, we had a late night flight yesterday. There's a group of us from Vancouver, part of the Change Heroes group. And many of you guys know that this year, one of my biggest goals has been uh, contribution oriented and specifically building schools and now building houses as well. I'm really proud to say that I've uh, raised and contributed $20,000 now to build two different schools. I wanna thank those of you that have contributed and um, been a part of it as well. I'm really grateful for your contribution and your support uh, with these goals and together we're making an amazing difference. Uh, but one of the schools is being built in Kenya, another one in Ecuador, um, and I've done various other um, campaigns and fundraisers and whatnot with Change Heroes since then, but one of them specifically is building a house here in El Salvador. Um, my friend Taylor Conroy brought this opportunity to me about a month or two ago and said, hey man, you know, do you want to come to El Salvador and build houses in a local village and stay there? And uh, you know, it costs $3,000 to build a house. You can fundraise it if you want as well. We have a platform to help you do that but uh, it would just be a powerful experience for you. And so I said, dude, I'm all in. Um, I didn't even have to think about it. And, um, and, and here I am, you know, I, I funded the $3,000 for the house. Uh, we flew in uh, this morning and uh, it's been a really powerful experience so far. There's about 20 of us here that have each funded uh, about $3,000 to, to build homes. And uh, we're working with another group called Techo, uh, or Techo, I believe it's what their name is. And uh, they work with the local government and community uh, here in El Salvador, and they've coordinated the whole thing, which has been amazing. But um, you know, we met uh, everyone at the airport and everything. It's been an amazing journey, amazing connections and friendships being built already. Uh, already the first day in, um, amazing, amazing individuals that are here. Uh, we spent the first part uh, taking a bus, and they took us to the local community where we are uh, you know building the houses and everything and a lot of the, the the locals I mean it's just extreme poverty you know I'll probably have some other videos and pictures to share with you guys and I'll probably post a few on my Instagram and my Facebook um, but I mean the poverty is I mean it's nothing like what you and I get to enjoy just even having this luxury to be able to watch a video on YouTube from a computer or an electronic device that's just out of their reality you know a lot of people here they don't have electricity uh, plumbing they just get their water from a well they shower just with buckets of water which is what we are, we're gonna be doing as well uh, while we're here you know they don't even know what Wi-Fi or anything like that is um, you know so totally different reality than what you and I live in but I mean you go to see their homes and we that's what we did we went a tour around the village and and their community and I mean their homes are just you know, hardly anything. I can't even describe what their homes look like. You know, they're just beaten down, um, you know, walls and a roof sort of thing, you know? Um, so um, it's kind of interesting because they don't really spend much time in their homes here. You know, usually uh, we were at the village today and we met all the women and children and all the men, they're out working, um, you know, in farms and the fields and everything. And they basically work all day and their home is just a place where they come just to, to sleep. Uh, at nighttime, they don't they don't just hang out at the house like you and I typically would do. But um, it's a pretty amazing experience being here. It's much different um, being a part of an experience like this and getting to have that the the emotional association towards it as opposed to just funding and donating money. And I wish for you guys watching this video right now for you to be able to join me on a trip and experience like this. And we're actually in the works of planning something like this for you know you guys followers of project life mastery different customers friends clients of mine and uh, planning an experience like this next year in 2016 where we can all get together and do this together hang out on the beach together like what i'm doing right now um connect bond mastermind share goals make a difference contribute um it's a pretty powerful thing but um i'm really excited for this weekend uh it's going to be powerful we're doing a lot of filming and um, taking a lot of pictures as well um we start construction tomorrow at 5.30 in the morning, uh, which is actually 3.30 in the morning Vancouver time. So uh, we're basically living in a, a school 
Uh, we all brought sleeping bags and everything, so we're sleeping on the floor. Uh, there's about 180 local volunteers that have come to help us build the houses as well. So there's about 20 of us that have funded it, and then a lot of locals just from around El Salvador are coming to help to help us uh, build these houses and everything in about two to three days. Um, so I mean, it's I don't I don't really know what to expect. It's going to be a lot of fun. But you know, the first thing I'll say is you know there's a lot of value in just disconnecting like this, getting away from technology, getting away from the internet, getting away from your work life, your business, and just your current circumstances of wherever you currently are at right now in your life, and just kind of escaping that for a moment and coming to a brand new culture like this and seeing how other people live. It really puts your life in perspective because you realize how lucky and blessed that you actually are um, because you, you know, you and I, we live in a world where there's opportunity. There's amazing opportunity to create the life that we want to, um, you know, we have a lot more options than a lot of other people do in the world and it's an amazing privilege and I think that that opportunity that we're given is something that we can't take for granted. You know, you can't waste it. Do the best that you can with it because there's other people in different parts of the world that wish they had the same opportunity as you and would utilize it. And many people here, they amazing, I mean, they work harder than, than I do. It's amazing. They just work all day to support their family. And uh, it's, it's pretty impressive. But yet again, again, they don't have the opportunities that we have to be able to you know, put that effort, that work into something that can, uh, you know, make passive income or something like that or help you become financially free. Like we're blessed to have, um, you know, in where we live in uh, different parts of the world. So um, it really puts your, everything in perspective. You also realize, you know, how happy that a lot of people are. You know, we're hanging out with kids today and, you know, and how grateful they are. You know, we, we came in, this is pretty interesting. We, we took a bus, we came in and there was actually a group, there was a tent and there was the, the local community all got, um, sitting down and everything, and the mayor was there, and the mayor um, was giving a speech and everything, and we came in, and everyone's looking at us and clapping for us and thanking us, and they come up and hug us, and I was just getting so emotional um, having a chance to, to, to talk to them and, and greet them and everything, but just their gratitude and their happiness, their joy, um, their spirit is just amazing. It really motivates you and it, it, it kind of gives you another reason to have no excuse to be unhappy because here's these people with poverty, but they're so happy. They're so grateful. They're, they feel so blessed. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just amazing to be around that kind of energy. Um, so it's definitely great, guys. I wish you guys were here. I can't wait to be able to make this opportunity available for you guys. I can't wait to, uh, you know, build the homes and, and connect with the locals here and everything, but also having the finished result of it, the lasting impact, the lasting difference that this is going to make, and then hopefully being able, to, being able to make more of a difference for future years to come, as well as getting you guys involved as well, because um, you know I think this is something that's going to make a huge difference in the world. So um, anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. We're actually going to go eat uh, some lunch right now. Um, and I went for a swim, by the way, and the, the water is super warm. Uh, the waves are amazing. Um, life is good, guys. Life is good. Um, anyways, uh, I'll talk to you guys again later, and uh, hope you, hopefully you guys are doing awesome. Take care.